Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike from Blockout Party, and today I've got a quick video breaking down the Outsiders Booster Pack Rarity and Class Distribution. The goal of this video is not to suggest that you have to memorize this information, but rather to give you some data to keep in the back of your mind to help you pick up signals as you draft this new set. I have seen some questions and conflicting information about the class and rarity distribution in these booster packs. Outsiders pack distribution is different from past draftable sets, which wasn't super clear from the product descriptions. So I hope this video sets the record straight for anyone that is still uncertain about what combination of cards you can see in a given pack. And yes, the Belgian and Japanese print runs of Outsiders are slightly different. I'm going to go over the Belgian print run first and then show how the Japanese print run differs at the end. First off, the two tokens in the pack are not draftable and should be set aside. Marvels and cold foils show up in the token slot, so if you open one up in a draft, congrats, you get to keep it. You do not have to spend your first pick on it. Of the 14 draftable cards, cards 1 through 9 are made up of common generics and common class cards. Of these 9 cards, the first 3 or 4 will be generics. Any breakdown of these class cards is possible as long as there's at least one card from each class. In a 4 generic pack, you'll see the 5 class cards in a 2-2-1 and 3-1-1 breakdown. In a 3 generic pack, you'll see the 6 class cards in a 2-2-2, 3-2-1, and even a 4-1-1 breakdown. From the one case I opened, only one pack had the 4-1-1 breakdown, so I wouldn't worry about seeing this in a draft setting. Card number 10 is a hybrid card at common or rare. Card number 11 is a common hybrid card, any rare, or any majestic card. Card number 12 is a rare, not a rare or better, just a guaranteed rare. Card number 13 is the rainbow foil, which can literally be any card. And lastly, card 14 is the common equipment. Now let's take a look at how the Japanese print run differs. First off, the front 9 generic and class commons appear in a random order, which isn't a huge deal. According to some sources, it is possible to receive zero cards from a class. I haven't seen this personally, but if it is possible, it's probably rare enough where you don't have to worry about it in a draft. Next, the common equipment is further up as the 10th card. Card number 11 is a hybrid card at common only. Card number 12 is the guaranteed rare. Card number 13 is a rare or majestic. And card 14 is the same random rainbow foil. As you can see, the two print runs order the cards differently and have different rarity distributions. The main thing to notice is that the Belgian packs are guaranteed one rare, while the Japanese packs are guaranteed two. And there you have it. This is what you can expect in every card slot in a pack of Outsiders for both print runs. So do with this information what you will. I think it could be really useful to reverse engineer the first few picks from each pack. But who knows, these packs are more complicated than what we're used to. Either way, get out there and draft some Outsiders and develop your own strategies. It's shaping up to be one of the best draft experiences LSS has designed yet. Let me know in the comments if you've opened up a Belgian pack with a 411 common class breakdown or a Japanese pack with zero cards from a class in the first nine cards. I'm curious to see just how rare it actually is. As always, please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.